How's it going? Uh, Brandy here from Market with Bee Gallery. I am going to be wood burning a pet portrait today. I have a cute, uh, fuzzy pip. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and you guys get to watch. Um, I have a crazy setup here going on. Um, you can see I have something right here. That's what I'm going to move you guys to off of a tripod that you're currently on now. And then I also have this thing up above my head that's going to be taking a time lapse of this piece because um, this customer uh, made a comment about how she'd love to see a time lapse of her pup come to life and everything. And so I was like, yeah, why not? I'll do that for you. Sure. So um, that's that. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'll show you what I have so far is just the outline, you know, my classic outline. It's going to be mirrored. So I have my wood burner, Cola Detailer, my fan. Um, I do have a very light sanding block that I've been delicately using while I'm wood burning. I'm not a fan of sanding because it can ruin your chips, but I do like this one because it's pretty smooth. So I'm going to just adjust. I also have my uh, box cutter in case I need to get rid of any of my wood burn marks that I don't like. I have my mono sand eraser from Tombow that I use to erase my pencil lines, but I do have a backup kneaded eraser. And finally, I have one that actually I can knead. So that's that. Um, I have the pup space up on my laptop. That's what I'm using for reference, just so you know. So I will go ahead. Whoop, sorry, I keep moving you around, but there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started, and feel free to ask me any questions. Just a reminder, I'm using the Colwood Detailer wood burning unit. All right now, I am on temperature 6, and uh, we have some long furs for the ears here. So I'm just kind of going in the direction of the fur first. Kind of get rid of some of my wood burning there because it got a little too dark. I do plan to go in with some white acrylic paint later and add some highlights in there, but this knife kind of helps out. Just kind of carves off the wood burning. So that's why I like to have it out if I get a little too dark in some areas. I can also carve out a little bit of fur for some more pops of highlights and fur texture. It's been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop for right now, but you can see I've just been working on this ear the whole time, and then I have the rest of the portrait to do, so stay tuned to see the finish on this cute little puppy. Thanks so much for watching. All right. Bye. <laughs>